This color should fill you with gleeful nostalgia or a creeping anxiety, and that's all by design. The yellow of a school bus is a color that conjures emotions. Developed to keep kids safe, this yellow and its commercial production have hazardous qualities that often go unmentioned. I'm your host, Michael, and welcome to Creative Hazard Storytime. This broadcast, we're going to learn the tale of how one man standardized school transportation and the hidden cost behind that effort. This is the story of School Bus Chrome. In the 1930s, a doctor by the name of Frank Sear wanted to implement standards for school transportation. During this period, the end of the Great Depression, kids were brought into school by all sorts of vehicles, including wagons, trucks, and buses. Sear wanted to incorporate a standard color that improved visibility of these vehicles by differentiating them from other traffic on the road. By 1939, he organized a safety conference funded by the Rockefeller Foundation. This need for a safety standard eventually led the attendees to settle on the bold yellow that we know today as National School Bus Glossy Yellow. In 1972, Minnesota was the last state to adopt the color for their buses. By 1974, all school buses in the United States were painted School Bus Glossy Yellow. The reality of School Bus Glossy Yellow isn't as cheery as its name would imply, however. The yellow had a different name before it was rebranded, School Bus Chrome. Now, you might be asking yourself, isn't chrome silverish? And you're right. The chrome nomenclature comes from the fact that this is a chromate paint. Chrome is a carcinogen, or as all my paint tubes like to say, this product contains a known carcinogen to the state of California. Not only that, but chrome yellow is a lead chromate, emphasis on the lead. Lead is most dangerous to children, which is the dark irony of this whole story, using carcinogens to keep kids safe. Children weren't the only ones at risk, however, with national regulations requiring buses to be painted this particular shade. Thousands of buses, new and old, had to be painted. The painters of these buses were ones with the highest risk of lead exposure. The effects of lead paint on those who work with it have been studied since antiquity, and chromium-based yellow is often the worst of the bunch. In a 2018 article published on the hematology analysis of lead exposure on painting workers from Automobile Industries in Kazakh Bangdung, research discovered that yellow chrome exposed workers to the highest amounts of lead, more so than the next highest, gray. To account for natural acclimation of lead from the environment, they also maintained a control group consisting of non-painters. This control group had one-third the content of lead in their bodies. Lead poisoning is often caused by ingestion. It enters the bloodstream either through the stomach or the lungs, which is what makes spray on paint such a hazard. In children, lead poisoning can result in developmental delays, learning disabilities, weight loss, seizures, and pica. In adults, it can lead to mood disorders, memory problems, joint pains, headaches, and miscarriages. Like I mentioned earlier, all buses were painted National School Bus Glossy Yellow by 1974. Regulated in the standard across the nation, the color offered protection to children from the hazards of the road, but exposed countless painters to leaded pigment. Four years later, in 1978, under President Jimmy Carter, all lead-based paint was banned, ending the federal career of chrome yellow. From then on, buses would be painted with a less hazardous yellow that was the same hue, just probably less opaque and a little bit more expensive. I guess it's not surprising that the choice between a leaded pigment and a non-leaded one is how many coats of paint it would take. The federal ban did not quite extinguish the hazard. With no recall, all those lead-painted buses remained on the road, just like all the other lead-painted cars, and all the lead-painted houses, and all the lead-painted products. It really makes you wonder how many lead-painted things are out there in the world right now, just waiting for someone to pick up. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this broadcast of School Bus Chrome. I make these videos to share what I've learned so that people can learn a little bit more about me in the process. I'm Michael and I think it's important for artists to find a way to give back with their talents, which is why I started Died Famous. Our goal is to provide free handmade portraits to families that have unexpectedly lost a loved one. I started drawing memorial portraits because I've seen the impact a drawing can have on a bereaved family. To learn more about this cause, visit Died Famous. That's it, just D-I-E-D-F-A-M-O dot U-S. There, you'll see some of our portraits, read about who we are, and you'll find other social links like Instagram, Facebook, and Patreon. 
uh, donation service where you can become a sustaining member and help us make more portraits. If you want to join our Patreon list and support something a little bit different than just video creation, head on over to patreon.com slash diedfamous. A special thanks to all our patrons listed here. Your support means everything. Um, couldn't do this without you, so thank you so much. Very much appreciated. If you enjoyed this video, check out the rest of the series, and if you made it this far, go ahead and give me a like, because, you know, that helps with that algorithm. All right. Have a good day. Have a good night. Have a good time. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.